The People's Republic of China and the government of Guyana on Friday signed a framework agreement for a concessional loan that will finance the second phase of the East Coast Demerara Road project. The funds will be provided by China's Exim Bank to the tune of some 192 million U.S. dollars. I am pleased to join my colleague here today in what I believe is a very progressive and forward-looking engagement in the continuing relations between Guyana and China in the signing of this framework agreement this morning. Major to this signing would be for the financing of a major intervention in our road network along the East Coast Corridor. The project will see the East Coast Corridor from Sheriff Street to Orange, Nassau, being expanded into a four-lane highway stretch to reduce traffic congestion along the East Coast. Senior Minister within the Office of the President with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, noted that with the major scale development taking place across Guyana and motor vehicle ownership increasing with citizens' disposable income, road expansions of this nature have become necessary. We are building out additional lanes, including a four-lane road along what is known as the railway embankment, as an alternative artery through the East Coast into Georgetown, and ultimately through, from, through the East Coast and into the East Bank, if you use Sheriff, and then Mandela, and then onwards, or if you use the Ogle to Diamond Road, and onwards. And these form an important part they are not exhaustive because there are many other projects that we could speak of. Minister Agil is managing a vast portfolio of transport infrastructure projects that we could speak of. But I highlight these because of their relevance to what we're signing today. He thanked the Chinese government and the team at the Chinese embassy for working continuously to support Guyana's development and expressed hope that the countries would continue to strengthen their bilateral relations in future.